Hey guys, it's Emily. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bow scrunchies in two ways. Let's get on with the video. What you're going to need for these scrunchies is fabric, pins, a pencil, scissors, elastic that measures a quarter of an inch or any size, a ruler, a safety pin, an iron, a sewing machine, and a piece of paper to make a template. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can sew the fabric together with a needle and thread instead. The first scrunchie I'm going to show you how to make is this scrunchie with a bow tied on it. The first thing you want to do is that you want to measure out two pieces of fabric. Both of my pieces measure to be 3 by 21 inches, but you can Cut both of these pieces around 18 to 22 inches by 3 and a half to 4 inches. One piece will be for the bow and the other piece will be for the scrunchie. When you're done measuring them out, you want to cut out those pieces. The next thing you want to do is that you want to take the piece of fabric that you want to use for the scrunchie and you want to fold it in half with the right side of the fabric together. Then you want to pin the fabric together. After you're done folding and pinning the fabric together, you want to take one end and fold the fabric over and pin it at about a half inch. This will help with putting the scrunchie together at the end. Now for the bow piece, you want to take the other piece of fabric and fold it in half with the right sides of the fabric together. Then you can pin it together. The next thing you want to do is that you want to fold one end towards the fold and you want to cut it. Then you want to do the same thing to the other end but you want to fold it towards the opening and cut it. When you're done getting your fabric together, you can start sewing. You can sew on the long edge of the fabric that's for the scrunchie with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and make sure you make a backstitch at the beginning and the end of your stitch. After you're done sewing, you want to put a safety pin on one end of the fabric and then you want to run the safety pin inside of the fabric and flip it inside out. When you're done flipping it inside out, you want to take the safety pin off. Then you want to cut a piece of elastic that measures about six and a half inches or whatever size you would like. After you're done cutting the elastic, you want to put a safety pin on it and then you want to run the elastic through the fabric. When you get the elastic to the other end, you want to pin the ends of the elastic together. And then you can sew it together. When you get a few stitches on the elastic, that's when you can take the pin out. To finish the scrunchie, you want to put the unfolded end of the fabric inside of the folded end and make sure you line up the seam. 
Then you can sew it together and make sure you make a back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your stitch. When you're done sewing, you want to cut off the extra thread. Now you can sew the fabric that will be for the bow with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And make sure you leave an opening. Also, make sure you make a back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your stitch. When you get to a corner, you want to leave the needle in the fabric, and then you want to lift up the foot, move the fabric, and then you can place the foot back down and continue sewing. When you get to where you want your opening to be, you want to stop sewing and make a back stitch. Then you want to move the fabric forwards a few inches, and then you can make a back stitch, and then you want to continue to sew until you're done. When you're done sewing, you want to cut off the extra thread and you also want to trim the points of the fabric because this can help with the points of the bow to be more pointy. Then you want to flip the bow part of the scrunchie inside out. If you're having trouble flipping it inside out, you can use a pencil to flip it inside out. Just make sure you're careful that you don't put a hole in the fabric. Now before you sew the opening, you want to iron the fabric, and this will help it look much better when it's done. finish the bow, you want to sew the opening shut and cut off the extra thread. Now to finish your scrunchie, you can tie the bow on the scrunchie where the seam is, and then you're all done. The next scrunchie I'm going to show you how to make is a bunny ear scrunchie. The first thing you want to do is that you want to draw and cut out a piece that measures about 18 to 22 inches by 3 and a half to 4 inches, and this will be for the scrunchie. My piece of fabric measures to be 3 by 18 inches. After you're done cutting out your fabric, you want to draw out a template for the bow on a piece of paper. The template kind of looks like an egg with a stand underneath of it. The size of my template is about 3 by 4 and a half inches, but you can make yours any size. When you're done drawing the template, you can cut it out. And if you want to make it even, you can fold it in half and then cut it out. When you're done cutting out the template, you want to trace the template on the fabric of a border around it. Then you want to fold the fabric in half and cut it out. This will create one piece. When you're done cutting it out, you can keep it folded in half and trim the edges so it's even on both sides. Now to make another piece, you want to trace the piece you just cut out, and then you want to cut out the second piece.
To make both of the pieces of fabric even, you can place them on top of each other with the right sides of the fabric together. And then you can pin them together and trim the edges. When you're done pinning them together and trimming the edges, you want to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and make sure you leave a place so it can be flipped inside out. Also, make sure you make a back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your stitch. When you get to a corner, you can lift up the foot while the needle is still in the fabric and move the fabric to the direction you need to be going in. Then you can put the foot back down and continue sewing. When you're done sewing, you want to cut off any extra pieces of thread. To finish the bow, you want to cut the corners because this can help with keeping the bow pointy. You can also add some cuts on the curve because this can help with the shape of the bow. Then you want to flip the bow inside out. You can use a pencil to help you push out the fabric, just make sure you don't poke a hole in the fabric. Before you sew the opening, you want to iron the bow. When you're done ironing the bow, you want to sew the opening shut and cut off any extra thread. Now for the scrunchie, you want to fold the fabric in half with the right sides of the fabric together. Then you want to pin it together. Then you want to fold one end about a half inch down and pin that together. This will help with putting the scrunchie together at the end. When you're done pinning the fabric together, you want to sew the long side of the fabric together with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And make sure you make a back stitch at the beginning and the end of your stitch. After you're done sewing, you want to put a safety pin on one end of the fabric and then you want to run the safety pin inside of the fabric and flip it inside out. When you're done flipping it inside out, you want to take the safety pin off. Then you can cut a piece of elastic that measures six and a half inches. Then you want to put a safety pin on the elastic and run it through the fabric. When you're done running the elastic through the fabric, you want to pin the ends of the elastic together. Then you can sew the ends together. When you get a few stitches on the elastic, that's when you can take the pin out. To finish the scrunchie, you want to put the not folded end of the fabric into the folded end of the fabric. And then you want to sew it together. Make sure you make a back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your stitch. And make sure you line up the seam. 
The last things you want to do is that you want to trim off any extra thread off of the fabric and then you can tie the bow on the seam of the scrunchie and then you're all done. And that's how you make these scrunchies. In the comments down below, let me know which scrunchie is your favorite. And if you like this video, subscribe to see more videos. I will see you in the next video. Bye!